Hello, this is Leslie. Let me be one of the first to welcome you to Reserve Interactive's new web-based system, Reserve Cloud, and to this first video in our Getting Started series. Mm -hmm. With Reserve Cloud, you can access your events and reservations simply by signing in from any browser. Upon logging into Reserve Cloud, you will see your home screen, which provides a snapshot of your day. Outstanding tasks and scheduled events for the day are prominently displayed so that you can easily mm -hmm. act on them. One of the first things you'll notice with the new Reserve Cloud system is a global search field. Enter any string of information in the search field and Reserve Cloud will return all of the values that match. Down the left side of your screen are the major modules for Reserve Cloud, such as events and reservations. Let's take a closer look now at the events module. The new Reserve Cloud system offers the flexibility of multiple views, each with drag and drop capabilities. You'll notice that the events are displayed and be, can be color coded based on what stage of the life cycle they are in or even their event type. If an event changes dates, it's as simple as clicking and dragging. The week view provides more detail on timing, including gray areas denoting setup and teardown times. The most detailed view is the day view, which shows each event and the location in which it is being held. If you want to change rooms or the time, again, simply clicking and dragging to make those changes. Let's take a closer look at an upcoming event by double clicking on it. Instantly, we can see all of the details regarding this event that have been collected so far. Reserve Cloud is one of the only systems on the market today to incorporate the life cycle of an event into its architecture. By doing this, we're able to automate the process of managing an event while ensuring good practices as well. Let's imagine that we want to send a proposal to this customer. Before doing so, we're going to want to select all of our food and our beverage and our setup and service items to include. Now what used to take several steps, going to food and then to beverage and then to set up and service, can now be accomplished in only one with Reserve Cloud. I simply click on services. Right here I'll click on add menu and my menus display. Now whether selecting an a la carte menu or a package menu, Reserve Cloud makes it easy to add items to an event. I'm simply adding. Then I'm selecting, clicking boxes to bring in what I want. I'll save that information. I can further edit my menu as well, which we discuss in another video. Right now, I'll pretend this looks great. I'm going to jump back to my main event page using the trail at the top here. And I'm going to scroll down and send a proposal simply by clicking on that step in the life cycle. Instantly, my options are displayed as far as my email template and any documents that I might want to attach as a PDF. I'll click Send Proposal. My email template will display, and here I can edit it if I need to prior to sending. I can also take a quick peek at my document if I want to. Anything that's underlined in Reserve Cloud represents a link. I'll go ahead and click on it. We'll take a, a quick peek at our proposal. Beautiful. As I scroll down, it's got all of the information that I just selected, my wedding package, my summary of charges, and I can even end that document with terms and conditions. And I'm sure all of our proposals look different, but I just wanted to give you a sneak peek at what's available. I'll go ahead and hit send email here. The email will go off to that particular client. And what's great is all of my communication will be logged down here in communication history. As long as the thread was started here in Reserve Cloud, all replies and future messages will be stored in Reserve, even if I utilize my own email tool, such as Outlook or Gmail. All the information that we've got here is going to be saved in Reserve, so as I navigate back to my home page, there's no worry of losing any information. For your convenience, a breadcrumb trail of pages most recently visited is displayed at the top so that you can easily navigate back as needed. If you have any questions, 
You can chat with a support representative by clicking on chat, or you can peruse our help and training section up here to the right. That completes our brief introductory tour of Reserve Cloud. Hopefully you're excited to get started. Thank you for watching and please continue learning by watching the other videos in our Getting Started series.